California. Officials announcing overnight that the number of people missing from the campfire in the northern part of the state sadly has dramatically increased. The number of people who are still looking for, who are uncounted for, uh, has increased to 631. And this number uh, increased by 501 people. Campfire, already the deadliest fire in California history, killing at least 63. Right now, it's only 40% contained. Eyewitness News reporter Alexander Leslie is live in studio with all the latest. Well, while that campfire isn't even fully contained yet, those who fled the fire aren't giving up hope. Members of the Paradise community held a town hall meeting last night to begin the long road to recovery. Now, for many, that means signing up for FEMA relief. Specifically, Paradise suffered some of the worst damage from this fire, and it's left hundreds of evacuees in limbo. Some have even set up a makeshift shelter in a Walmart parking lot. Suzanne Caxanen fled with her two birds. Now, she says she's been told she may have to wait six months before she can return home. I don't even care if there's no home. I just want to go back to my dirt, you know, and put a trailer up and clean it up and get going. And President Trump is scheduled to travel to the region this weekend to visit some of those affected. Now, he's blamed the fire devastation on poor forest management. Of course, California is still waiting on some much needed rain in the area. Reporting live in studio, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.